Yemen this morning, Hamas announcing they will attend ceasefire talks today in Cairo, Egypt. Representatives of the militant group will sit in and listen to the latest developments in negotiations, in negotiations with mediators from Egypt and Qatar. Overnight in the Gaza Strip, Nasser Hospital, controlled by the Hamas-run health ministry, is reporting that an airstrike inside of the Israeli-designated safe zone killed at least 11 people, including two children. For more now, ABC News foreign correspondent Britt Klenet joins me now live from Tel Aviv, Israel. Britt, hello, and thank you for joining us. And Britt, Hamas is now blaming Israel for the delay in negotiation. So talk us through this. What is the latest on these ceasefire talks? As Are we getting a grim new admission now also from, from U.S. officials that perhaps only a dozen hostages could return home alive? Yeah, grim indeed. And those hostage concerns are growing every single day after six hostage bodies were returned this week. We speak to some hostage families who say that Netanyahu is prioritizing pol his uh, politics and himself uh, over people's lives. Now, a top U.S. General Brown, uh, he will be traveling to the region to de-escalate tensions here and also to stress the importance of negotiations, although he won't be negotiating himself. But, Mary, no major breakthrough in the talks. Sticking points remain, although Hamas has now sent a delegation. Netanyahu is insisting on a military presence at the Egypt-Gaza border. Lies on these talks. And so, Britt, let's also talk about the humanitarian crisis. The UN claims 90 percent of Gazans are now displaced following IDF evacuation orders. So where exactly do things stand? Yeah, so thousands more now on the move from Deir al-Bala, which is um, now a, a huge cause of concern with water, sanitation and hygiene, a huge problem there. We spoke to Awa Naif. She's moved, Mary, five times in the last two months alone. Let's take a listen to what she had to say. I can go to another place where I don't feel like a human anymore. It's... It's a question of how to die, not how to live. It's whether you would prefer to die in a stinky area filled of sewage water and uh, garbage around you or in an area that probably is surrounded by tanks. You choose. I prefer an area with tanks because I want to die with dignity. Awa, there is one of many Gazan mothers having to make impossible choices every single day, Mary. Britt, thank you for bringing us these important voices. Thank you.